Hello, I'm Ryan from Ooze Nest. In this video, we're going to talk about Power Loss Resume. Power Loss Resume is one of the most requested features since we launched the Duet controller. What Power Loss Resume is, is that you can turn off your machine mid-job, come back at a later date and resume that job. This is great if you're running a really long job, which you won't be able to complete in one day or the time frame you have with the machine. It also can save your job in case of an unplanned power outage. Power Loss Resume is available in WorkB firmware 1.05 and onwards. Just follow the normal procedure in the description on how to install that. So in this video, first I'm going to go over using Power Loss Resume, and in the second half of the video, I'm going to quickly show you how to configure Power Loss Resume if you want to adjust it to suit your needs. But by default, it's all configured for you for a standard workflow. So once you've installed WorkB firmware 1.05, you'll notice on your right hand side, you have another folder in the macro section and this is called B3 Power Loss Resume. If you open that, inside here you have two buttons, a controlled power off, this is just if you want to pause your job and then turn the power off. I wouldn't recommend just flicking the switch off to cut power, I'd always use the controlled power off. What this will do is first pause the machine to the back right corner like your normal pause function and then bring up a message when the machine can be turned off. The second button is your zoom job. So once you switch your power back on, you then press this button to resume your job from when you left off. Obviously, there's no button for unplanned power outage as this can't be planned. So that will just happen when it happens when you lose power to wherever your machine is. So what I'm gonna do now is demo power loss resume on this job here. So I've got a piece of 80 mil wood and I'm just gonna cut a logo into it. I've just home the machine set the work zero at the front left corner. In this demo, I'm gonna do a controlled power outage to show you how that works. So I'm just gonna get this job started now. So the job's now running. And what I'm gonna do is press control power off. So what I've done is press the button under power loss resume, B1 controlled power off. That's now paused the machine and bring it back to its home position. It's now given me a notice so the machine can now be turned off. So I'm going to turn both switches off. First I'll turn that off. And now I'm going to turn the machine off by the plugs. So the power to the machine and the router is now both completely off at the plug. What I'm going to do first is turn the machine power back on and get connected in the web control. I'm just gonna refresh that. So I'm now back connected. So I'm gonna to go to, under the macros, power loss resume, resume job. It will bring up a warning to make sure your route switched on. So I'm gonna turn that on now and press okay, and it should carry on from where it left off. So what I just demoed was controlled power off. And you can see that worked fine and carried on from exactly where it left off. But what it also can do is it can save you when you have an unplanned power outage. So that is what I'm gonna demo now. So I've paused this file with the power still on. I'm just gonna zoom it. And then what you'll do, you'll see me reach over and flick off the power to the machine. So what I did there was just simulated an unplanned power outage by flicking the switch on the, on the socket. And as you can see, the machine stopped exactly where it was, obviously because it was an unplanned power outage. So what I'm gonna do is turn the duet power back on. So the machine power's back on. I'm gonna wait till it connects again. I'm just gonna refresh the page. So 
So I'm back in the wheel control and we just press the same button as last time. So under the power loss resume drop down, resume job. Again, it's going to bring up the warning to make sure I turn the router on. So I'm going to do that now. And what it will do is hone the machine and then bring it back to that position. So I'm going to turn it on and press OK. So I've now paused the job and as you can see, with an unplanned outage, the machine carried on as normal. There's no artifact can be seen of where it was doing the job. So I uh, hopefully you gathered the opinion now that power loss resume is a very handy feature to have on your work BCNC machine and will be very useful if you're running very super long jobs that could span over multiple days or in an area which just hasn't got a reliable power connection. Just to recap on how to install Power Loss Resume, all you've got to do is update to the latest WorkBee firmware, 1.05, and follow the normal instructions on how to install that. So that's it regarding the demo of Power Loss Resume. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep on watching if you want a little bit of extra information on how to modify Power Loss Resume to better suit your workflow if you're doing something really funky with your WorkBee CNC machine. By default, Power Loss Resume is all set up in the WorkBee firmware 1.05, but I'm just gonna go over the config settings for it. So the main one is in settings, system editor, config.g. So I've got that open now. So further from bottom, there's a command M911, and this is to configure Power Loss Resume. The first parameter, S, is the voltage, which if the machine drops below, Power loss resume will be activated. So we have it set to 21 volts. The R value is the value to resume the machine if above that voltage. So we have that set to 23 volts. And then the P parameter is the G code command to carry out while there's some still some residual power in the duet. So when, is, when there's a power outage, there is still residual power in the duet for it to carry out some commands. And in this P parameter, that is what you put there. Because we're running NEMA 23 motors and they're quite power hungry, there isn't going to be a lot of commands that the machine can carry out. So we've just got the simple ones as a set relative coordinates and try and raise the Z as much as possible to clear it from anywhere on your workpiece. So the next thing I'll make you aware of is a file named Resurrect. So if I just open that now and take a look at it, this file is auto generated in the power loss when the machine loses power. So these are the commands that will be run when you resume your job and they're saved on the SD card for when you come back. You do not need to edit, thing, edit anything in this file as this is all automatically generated by the duet. Before that file is run, there's another file called Resurrect Prolog. So if I open that file now, this file you can edit. So these commands in this file will be run before the Resurrect file is run. So what we have it set to is first hone the machine and then go to the x, x coordinate at zero and y coordinate at zero above the position of where it lost power. So in that case of the previous power outage, that'd be here. And then in resurrect, it will drop down and carry on cutting. So we just make it home and go back to above the position to make sure it clears any clamps. But you can edit this to customize it to what you want it to do. For instance, you can make it come down this way and then in rather than diagonal to this position in case you need to clear anything on your workpiece or you can make it do anything else you want it to do, such as turn on your spindle if you don't have a mains powered router like we do. So you can put that in there so it automatically turn on the spindle to your configured speed. The next files we're going to look at is the macros we created in the latest WorkBee firmware. So they're in macros and in the power loss resume directory. So the first one is controlled power off. If we just look at that, so all this does is has the M25 command at the beginning and that just pauses the machine like a normal pause. And then it just brings up the warning that the machine can now be turned off. You can add some other functions in there if you want. 
but that is all what is necessary for a controlled power off. The final file is a zoom job, so just look at that. So the first thing this does is just give you a warning to make sure you turn on your router. In this case where we have a mains controlled router that would be needed so that warning is absolutely 100% critical for this operation but if you had a spindle like I mentioned earlier you could put it in the Resurrect Prolog so you wouldn't need that warning as you know it automatically come on. And the second line is M916 that basically just signals to run the Resurrect Prolog function and then the Resurrect file. But you can add some any other things in this um, file in this macro just as long as the M916 comes last, that will be okay. So as far as configuring the Zoom power loss goes, that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel to see future videos and like this video.